In the first few years of the existence of Douglas, students created rules for the incoming classes to follow. This was common at colleges across the nation, and these rules were simply based on the whims of those who created them. For the women of the New Jersey College for Women, the original name for Douglas College, there were two particular restrictions placed on the first year students. They were not allowed to wear red, and they were forbidden from walking on the path from George Street to College Hall for the duration of the first year. Today, we know that path as Sacred Path. In 1919, the second year of Douglas College's existence, the faculty, staff, and students decided to come together at the end of the spring semester in order to establish a new tradition for a moving up of the classes. At this event, the first year students would officially become sophomores as they were escorted down the path by other class women. Over the years, this became known as the Sacred Path Ceremony. Throughout the history of Douglas, many symbols were associated with the Sacred Path, including flowers, blazers, and mortarboards. Although many of these symbols have come and gone, the essence of Sacred Path remains as a celebration of the moving up of the classes. This is why we are here today. Sacred Path is where we build on our past and step towards our future.
also working uh, diligently uh, on this event. I'd also like to personally dedicate tonight's event to her. Uh, she is retiring after 40 years at Douglas. And we are
fearful that our enduring values will be lost. Yet change is essential for room to grow new ideas and create new opportunities. Douglas, in its best tradition of non-tradition, is not afraid to embrace both its rich past and its promise of an innovative future. Thank you. Or in the Buckingham Lounge, an honorary Woodbury Learning Community, 
a committed pal in an orientation meeting, or even a fellow sister in the Sophia house, I know we can all confidently say that DRC welcomed us with open and willing arms. Looking back on our journey, I think all of what we as a class of 2011 have accomplished. We inspired life, energy, and hope in what many thought would be the end of what Douglas College stood for. We understood that we had very much to fulfill, but we undertook that challenge with very excitement and zeal. We were determined to continue in the spirit that our Douglas sisters had left long on our campus. We desire to become true Douglas women, and we are now the first graduating class of Douglas Residential College. To my sisters in the class of 2011, as we close this long and significant chapter of our lives, I ask that you determined to remain true to who Douglas desires you to be. You will forever be a member of the first graduating class of Douglas Residential College, and let that spirit of being a first forever live on in you. You'd be the first programmer to create innovative applications in the world of technology. You'd be the first scientist to discover a breakthrough cure for cancer. You'd be the first Rutgers University president female. And whatever arena you find yourself, you'd be the first to let your light shine. In the words of our very own Dean Mabel Smith Douglas, here was a place where nothing was crystallized. There were no traditions, no customs, no college songs. There were no rules, there were no regulations. All that had to be thought of, planned, built up, and created. What a magnificent opportunity. Realize the wonderful opportunities around you and be the first to seize it and create something new. On behalf of the Douglas Residential College graduating class of 2011, we would like to thank our dean, our advisors, our professors, our family, and our friends. Rutgers University, and more importantly, Douglas Residential College. Thank you all for making this to be the time of our lives. I congratulate the seniors once again, and I know that we have a great future ahead of us. It is often said that the sky is the limit, but I believe that that statement is for the ordinary. Aim for the extraordinary, because it is those who have not made the sky the limit who have reached greater heights in life. So I admonish you, don't just aim high in life, but go beyond and do exceedingly more than you can ever imagine. Thank you, and I wish you all the best. The Associate Alumni of Douglas College would like to welcome all of the students, alumni, and family here to the 92nd Annual Sacred Path Ceremony. This is the Ivy Leaf Charm. Can you see it back there? I don't know what the bracelet looks like, but this is pretty cool. So alumni, if I would ask you, please stand any alumni in the building. And I'd like to present this. The Ivy League symbolizes the interconnectedness and continual growth of our sisterhood as alumni of Douglas College. The alumni class color is green, which represent, represents tranquility, health, peace, and life. Together, the color green and the Ivy League signify the ever-growing community of Douglas women. Alumni, please step forward and receive your Ivy Leaf charm.
who has both uh, achieved a high level um, of academic success and has also contributed greatly to the Bunting community. Um, this award is particularly a particular personal honor for me because uh, I've worked with a student throughout her time here. She's an amazing student. Um, I would personally miss her very much, but I can't wait to see what she does next. So the Helen Weisberger Award goes to Jill Bartlett. <laughs> Jill is a graduating senior and is an English major with minors in Women's and Gender Studies and Cinema Studies. Jill entered Rutgers and joined Douglas as a transfer student in fall 2008. She's been on the Dean's List since spring 2009. She studied abroad at the University of Sussex in summer 2010. Jill has received numerous scholarships and prizes for academic excellence during her time at Douglas. She has successfully combined her commitment to academics with her desire to be actively involved on campus and has contributed immeasurably to the success of the funding program during her time here. She has served as the Sophia Club Vice President and as a Bunting Peer Advisor from 2009 to 2011 and has done an outstanding job. She has also served for the past two years as the house mentor for uh, students in the Sophia House, which is a residential community for students enrolled in the Bunting Program. In addition to her involvement with the Bunting Program, Jill has taken on other significant roles in Douglas, serving as a Barbara Borges mentor in spring 2010 I was lucky enough to have her as my classroom mentor, and as a member of the 2011 Douglas Senior Class Council. She has also used her leadership skills in the larger realm of Rutgers University by serving on the student leadership team and the leadership test guide for the Office of Student Life. Jill is the ultimate multitasker and has juggled multiple roles with grace and equanimity throughout her time here. She is a wonderful public speaker and has been chosen to be the student speaker for the Douglas Convocation this year. Jill. Jill will take the leadership skills she has learned at Douglas and her commitment to social justice through her after graduation and will contribute greatly to the world outside of the university. She has been accepted into the Teach for America program for 2011-2012 and we'll be working with the Teach for America. Teach for America is the first step on Jill's journey after her graduation from college. And we can't wait to see what she does next. And we look forward to seeing how her journey follows. Congratulations.
senior recognition award is presented to a, a black African-American senior who has demonstrated high academic achievement, significant involvement in co-curricular activities, and has been a positive role model for other black African-American students on campus. This year's Jewel Plummer Cobb Award is awarded to as a 
public leader to a Douglas College student who has shown herself to be a promising public leader and exemplifies the kind of leadership that allowed Barbara Sigmund to make a difference to the people of New Jersey and for women in particular. This year's winner of the Barbara Bob Sigmund Award is Melissa Shadid.
I would like to present the key to the charm bearer for the junior class. This key is to be carried with you throughout your upcoming senior year and far beyond that, as your education here at Douglas is key to opening up doors that may seem lost until you take a leap of faith and land in a world teeming with full of new possibilities. The junior class color is red, which symbolizes energy, courage, passion, and leadership. Characteristics we hope you will take with you as you embark on the next step of your journey. Juniors, please step forward and receive your key charm.
grow with intensity throughout your life. True light burns bright and white, which is the color of the first year class. Bright is also the color of a blank page. And during your time at Douglas, you will fill this page with your successes, failures, hopes, fears, and your dreams for the future. First years, please step forward and receive your land of charm.
Thank you, and thank you 
you for participating in Sacred Path.